Welcome, welcome, patrons. Today we are back with another nation video. This time with the largest island in Thetis, Saharon. As with most of the later nations, we don't have too much information on the history of the area, but let's just talk about what we do know. History. We have almost no history on the island before the Tevinter Imperium claimed it as its own, and we aren't really even sure when they took the island, but we do know that it happened sometime early in Tevinter history, so we can probably aim sometime after negative 1595 Ancient, which is the date the Imperium was founded. While we don't know exactly what happened when Tevinter claimed the island, we do know that they did meet some resistance from the local population. Even today, a people who claim to be the true natives of the area dream of having their home back. We jump ahead to 632 Steel, almost 2,000 years later, when the Canari land and begin their attack. After the Canari successfully claimed Parvalan for their own, Saharan would fall not long after. The Canari would hold the island for about 10 years before Tevinter was able to push them back during the Battle of the Notion Sea, which ended up being the largest naval battle in Thetis history. However, neither side really won, and is considered a stalemate. Saharan became a constant battleground between Canari and Tevinter Imperium. A few years later, both the Imperial Chantry and the regular Chantry fought side by side in an exalted march against the Canari, part of which in an attempt to reclaim the rest of Saharan. Three different exalted marches would take place for the next 60 years, with still no solid victory in Saharan until the final year in 784 Storm. Saharan would see some sort of peace for a short time in Imperial hands until 855 Blessed, when the Canari made another attempt to reclaim the island. The battles would last three years until finally Tevinter lost control of Saharan. Currently, the island belongs to the Canari. Many in Thetis think of it a bit of a stretch to call Saharan its own nation, as it's either bundled up with the Canari or with the Deventer Imperium, but the locals dream of a day when they can stand proud of their home and call it a nation of its own. Geography we don't know too much about the geography of Saharan. We are told that the weather is warm, humid jungles cover the island, and there does seem to be some mountains on the western side. We know the names of two settlements, Alam and one just called Saharan. The city of Saharan is now a large Canari settlement where many young Canari soldiers are tasked to protect the port in their early years. This is believed to be an easy yet boring job, as is considered the safest area of the island. Now, because of how young the Canari start their training, that means that many of the soldiers that protect the port, and therefore the settlement's first line of defense, are under 18 years old. However, while Saharan the city might be safe and secure, it's the complete opposite everywhere else on the island. It's known that the war zones in Saharan will break even the most hardened veterans, and many die quickly out in the major war zones. There may have been many more towns and villages, but the most recent war in 855 Blessed apparently leveled most of the nation. Any settlements still standing are most likely made of new buildings. We know that the northern part of the island is home to mostly fog warriors and the Talvashoth. We also see two different Saharan fortresses in the Those Who Speak comics, one belonging to the Canari called Akhaz and another Athvalanis belonging to a Magister. Politics. At the moment, Saharan has belonged to the Canari for about 80 years, so really only the oldest members of society remember life under the Imperium. Even so, the Canari consider the region to still need re-education, as many of the locals resist both Canari and Imperial rule. So at this time, the Canari are the major political rulers of the area. If you want to know more about the Canari rule, just check out my video on the Canari. I'm not going to be going it over here. Um, I will be going into a little bit more detail when I go over Parvalin, because that's just how Parvalin is, but Saharan is just kind of this weird mishmash, so I'm not going to bother. But let's focus now on the local Saharans. The main rebel force for Saharan's freedom call themselves the Fog Warriors, named after their use of artificial fog. Their go-to plan of attack is using man-made fog, which at this time is debated if it's magical or not. They paint themselves and they dress in all white to blend into the fog and attack their enemies within the cloud. Many of these warriors are descendants from a time when Saharan did not belong to either the Imperium or the Canari. Culture one can imagine that, as of now, most of the culture is based on a weird mix of Canari and Tevinter traditions, but there is another culture on the island. When Tevinter conquered the island, there was another culture that sealed the area first, as I've said. We don't know much about them other than it's they who started the Fog Warrior Rebellion. 
For centuries, their culture has been reduced to fighting for their freedom, with most wisdom that they had had lost to war. They have bards that travel along with the fog warriors called fog dancers that recount old legends and songs from when the island was theirs. They talk about how griffins came from Saharan, which conflicts with other information we have on griffins, but legends are legends. They talk about an ancient curse of Nahar that brought the fog, whatever that means. They also talk about something called the March of the Four Winds. They talk about a people who fled to Northern Islands, which could mean that perhaps the original culture has landed somewhere else. They also speak of great heroes that learned from the feet of elves. It's unknown even to the fog warriors themselves if any of these stories are true, but they hold hope that one day they will make the nation theirs again. Religion. Currently, most of Saharan follows the Qum, but there are still small sects that are part of the Imperium's chantry. There was likely a local religion as well that came from the original culture of Saharan, although we have nothing on it if it exists at all. Dress. Obviously, the Canari people would dress like Canari, and the Deventers would dress like those in Deventer, but we don't really have much on how the native Saharans dress. The only thing I can think of as a visual example is from this image tweeted out by Mark Dara quite a while ago. This picture is a part of a set of images that supposedly hints at Dragon Age 4, and this little bit here seems to be a costume designs of the Fog Warriors. It's unknown if this is actually what they are, or if the designs will even be seen outside this image, but it does match how they are described. Dressed in white and surrounded by fog. Food. There are various spices that come from Saharan and they're sold all around Thetis, namely nutmeg and cinnamon. Other than that, it's unknown about Saharan cuisine, although perhaps it's become a weird mix of Tevinter and Canary foods. Relationship with other races. Elves. The large population of elves on Saharan are most likely former, or current, depending on where they are on the island, slaves of the Imperium. Because of how terribly the elves were treated by the Tevinters, many of the elven population are sympathetic, if not a part of the Kune. Many of the former slaves of Tevinter are now fairly high-ranking members of Canari society. Dwarves. There have been no mention of anything dwarven in regards to Saharan. At a guess, and as dwarves are usually fairly friendly to Tevinter, any dwarves in Saharan are guests of the Imperium. As the Chantry has little to no presence in the area, I highly doubt there is any solid lyrium trade with the island. Canari. While most of the Canari are a part of the Kune that now rules the island, there are pockets of Talvashoth. As per typical Canari ways, the Talvashoth are looked down upon and are enemies of the Kune. Humans. While it has not been said outright, the way the Fog Warriors are talked about make it seem that they are a majority human society. As Saharan was occupied by the Imperium so long ago, most of the people who are born as Saharan would probably be descendants from the Imperium humans. If anything, humans are the only race in Saharan that could be a part of any of the warring factions. Although that being said, there are not that many humans in Canari society. And that, dear patrons, is all that we know about the most war-torn nation in Thetis. You still have lingering questions, proof that I'm wrong, comments about your own fan theory. Feel free to tweet me at, at Gilderthon on Twitter or send a PM to your Zagilanon on Reddit. Darius Jarrell.